Hi everyone, welcome back to the last day of the 12 days of Christmas designs. No, 12 designs of Christmas even. I'm just going in first of all with my base, which is going to be Au Natural from Jar Perfection as always. So I'm just popping a coat of that down. As you can see, it needs mixing. I've not literally don't think I've ever used this colour. I think I've used it once actually in a video, but that's it. Also didn't clean my nail either, but I'm going in with, oh my gosh hairs that's what i'm going in with at the moment so i gave it up for a minute there i've done two coats of very natural and it's just curing now so i'm just going to show you what i'm going to be using so i'm going to use blackout which is gel perfection is black i'm also going to use royal red which is their red we're going to use a bit of berry jam and we're also going to be using this brill bird glamour gel which is just look at that amazing um and then a bit of white as well which i've already got out which is just my white gel paint and we're going to be doing santa upside down in a chimney um so first of all after we've done the base we're going to be creating the chimney itself so i'm just going to pop a little bit more red on my palette because i have got a bit on here already but i want a bit more so i'm just going to use that and then i'm going to get my other colors ready as well just pop them on my palette so they're ready for me to use straight away so first of all like i said we're going to create the chimney itself and I'm going to be using red for that so I'm just going to pop a red box basically on my nail get it about the same width both sides obviously this is quite a large nail so I can make it quite big but you just have to scale it to the size of the nail that you're working on I'm just going to fill it in now. Coverage is working quite well because we've got a nice pink underneath to make it even. Um, I'm not going to do two coats just because I'm lazy. If obviously you want to or need to do two coats then do that. Okay, so I just need to make this side a little bit higher. There we go. I'm going to pop that into the lamp for a full cure of 60 seconds and then we're going to be using berry jam to basically create like the brick effect. I've decided I don't want to use berry jam so I'm going to get some red and place it next to where the other red is like that and then I'm going to go into my black and just make the red that I've already got darker basically. Okay, I've just basically made it black, but <laughs> didn't need that much black in it. Definitely didn't. So I'm just going to get some more red to lighten it up a bit. That's about right. That's how I wanted it. And then I'm going to use that instead of berry jam, because berry, berry jam is like as ridiculous as it sounds, a bit too berry. So once that's out of the lamp, we're then going to do the bricks. So I'm just going to do... First of all, a line all the way across. And I'm going to do that all the way down to the bottom. I just wanted it like a fraction darker so you could see it, but it was a bit like it did blend a little bit sort of thing. And then once I get to the bottom, I'm just going to do one more down here. And then I'm going to create the brick effect. So we're just going to do some random lines. And then do the opposite for the brick. really simple but really effective and that's our bricks complete we're going to pop that in for another 60 seconds so next we're going to be doing Santa's legs so I'm going to get some red on my brush like just the normal red not the one that I've just mixed and we're just going to stick them in the air, basically. And 
And I'm going to be going over this with the diamond, no, not diamond, with the glamour gel. Now you'll see I'm not really doing the like perfect shape or anything and you'll see why in a second I am just roughing up the sides I don't want to be the perfect straight because that wouldn't be realistic and we're doing the other side as well for his other leg and you'll see why I'm not doing the perfect like lines here and here in a second because that will come with the next step just wiggling a bit to make it uneven. Okay, and then I'm going to pop that in the lamp for a full cure of 60 seconds again. And once we've done that, I'm just going to go over with the glamour gel because I want his trousers to be glittery. Obviously, you don't need to do this step. It's totally personal preference. I'll just I have to have glitter somewhere in a design so I'm just filling in the middle area with that and before I cure this just to save having to do so many cures all the time I'm going to do the next step because it's not going to be touching this anyway Put that happy first that's his legs and then we're going to do him some little boots I'm just going to put the lid on that so I'm going to go into my black and create him some little shoes so first I'm just going to do a line and then we're going to round the front I'm going to create a little heel on his shoes round the front Super small. So it is very, very fiddly, but it's worth it because they'll look really, really cute when it's done. So we're just now just going to do is the back of it. You'll see why I'm not doing anything touching in just a second. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to do the other one, which I always find more difficult. I think everyone naturally finds it easier to do one side than another. I'm just going to do his rounded front bit and then his little heel at the back it's a bit bulkier than the other one so I'm just going to make the other one a little bigger And once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to pop that into the lamp for a full cure. Now, once he's out of the lamp, we're then just going to do all the white, which is going to bring this whole design together. So we're going to go in with a large dot at first to do the top of the chimney. And this, these whites, white bits are basically just going to be a load of snow and also Santa's outfit. So first of all, we're going on top of the chimney and just doing dots all the way along. And that will be like there is snow just sat on the chimney. Just moving along so it doesn't actually look like there's a load of dots. Just that it's a bit textured. So that's our snow. And then we're going to use a much smaller dot this time. So I'm using this little one here. Making sure there's nothing on it. And then I'm going to do Santa's like trousers this time so it'd be like the bottom of his trouser leg which is why we weren't bothered about joining everything up making it all neat and stuff because you're not going to be able to see most of it anyway so it's not a problem I'm just dotting between there and there we go Santa is stuck in a chimney so we're just going to pop that in the um, lamp now for a full cure and then all we need to do is just top coat 
So I am top coating with a glossy top coat. Obviously you can have it matte, you can do whatever you like, but I just want it to stay as it is because I just think it is so cute. Um, so I'm just popping the top coat on there. And then once I've done that, that is this design finished. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm just gonna pop it in the lamp and cure and then I will show you this along with the other 12, well, the other 11 days of this series that I've been running. And then we can see what we've got all together because this is the last day of the 12, 12 designs of Christmas. So yeah, we'll have a look at all of them. So here's all the designs of the 12 designs of Christmas series. I hope you liked them. Let me know which one was your favorite. Um, I've really enjoyed doing it actually because although it was only one nail per video, uh, so it was nice and quick for me, but it also meant that you got an extra video every day of the last 12 days. And obviously Christmas is now just a couple of days away from when you will see this video. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for um, watching and have a lovely Christmas. But I have obviously got more videos to come, but the 12 days, 12 designs of Christmas is now over. Um, and I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed creating them. Bye.